Australia. In the land of accident opportunity. My dear friends, I welcome you in a fresh new episode of Visa Guru. Today we will talk about an excellent option to study abroad. Yes, friends, Australia. So Australia is considered one of the best places for international students all over the world. It's reasoning why, well, you can study over there in English medium of instruction plus uh, you can settle down in Australia, you can get a PR, a permanent residency once you have completed your education over there. Which are the requirements and documents that you need to present in order to get an Australian student visa? Well, the process is very simple and easy. First of all, you will have to have confirmation of electronic enrollment. So that is an unconditional letter of admission from uh, an institution or an education provider in Australia. Please do not forget, if you choose a course, it must be uh, registered with uh, CRICOS register. So this is really important. So the course must be registered and the institution must also be registered with the Australian government. So do not forget before you apply for a course in a certain institution. Choose that wisely. So secondly, you have to pay a deposit of fee. So they are almost all institutions, they charge a deposit in order to release uh, a confirmation of enrollment. So yes, my friends, you'll have to pay a deposit. Normally, it's about 2,000 to 6,000 Australian dollars. So that depends on every institution and education provider what type of deposit they require from you and once they get that they can issue you an electronic confirmation of acceptance once you have got that well there are other certain requirements for example language requirements so a really important thing friends this is the issue that has uh, been uh, the most ridiculous issue with most of the students you can apply if, if you have got a 5.5 score of IELTS yes you can also use uh, a score of IELTS um, with a five bands if you are registering with an extra ELICOS course so it's English intensive course for overseas students for 10 uh, hours per week so this is the uh, process if your score is lower and you can also register for a course um, to study English plus um, uh, following course the main course if you have got uh, less points in IELTS for example 4.5 score then you can register yourself uh, with a 20 hours per week uh, intensive English language course for overseas students then you can also use 4.5 IELTS uh, score but it all depends upon your education provider in Australia but don't forget to ask for more information from your college or university that you're choosing to study so the excellent thing is that you can also use uh, Pearson test of English plus um, TOEFL as well. Friends, you need uh, to apply online for this. The process um, is really simple. You have to uh, 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 complete, uh, you have to register yourself on the immigration website of Australia and you need to create a user account and then you can save your application online, you can attach your documents, you can pay the fee online with your visa, master or debit card and this is really simple. The visa application fee is normally 560 Australian dollars, well that's a lot of money and you have to pay that before applying a visa. So in some countries there is an opportunity to pay this fee at the visa application center at the visa um, uh, collection centers. The next thing is very important, the processing timings. Well, the processing timings are uh, varying these days for different countries. Normally it takes about four weeks to six or eight weeks to process a visa, a student visa for Australia. So this would be a student visa for subclass 500. So next thing is very important that you have to uh, uh, submit a passport uh, that's obvious and your passport side photographs. One more thing you have to arrange your um, health uh, care cover as well. So this is for overseas students. So overseas students they must get health care cover. So this is the health insurance. Before uh, getting a visa, you need to arrange that. So normally almost 70 to 80 percent of institutions or the education providers, they arrange this for their students. So you can talk to your education provider where you get the admission. They can also arrange for you. The next thing is very important. The corrector must be good. So in order to apply in Australia, you must provide a corrector certificate. Yes, my friends, that's, that seems um, uh, a little bit um, uh, inappropriate, but you have to submit a uh, your corrector certificate as well. A may, very main question that you can also carry your family members to Australia. Well, that's awesome because if you are applying for 
um, a subclass 500 for an Australian student visa. You can also carry your children and your wife with you. But for them, you have to pay uh, extra um, application fee as well. Next, very important thing uh, that makes it impossible for students to apply a student visa in some cases. Yes, friends, I'm talking about financial requirements or simply the bank statements that you need to show in order to study in Australia. To show your financial uh, means in Australia that you have enough amount to uh, stay in Australia and cover your living costs, you have two options or three options that you can choose with. First option is that you have been uh, uh, given uh, you have been given uh, a scholarship. So that's from uh, the Australian uh, Border Force. So you need a letter of confirmation from an uh, approved body who is offering you uh, a scholarship. So the second way is that if you apply on your own that you need to show uh, the financial means in a form of a personal bank account. Yes, you need to show from 1st February 2018 that you have got 20,290 Australian dollars in your personal bank account. That's a lot of money friends. So if you talk about this, this is almost 16 to uh, 17,000 US dollars equivalent to. So friends, this is the amount and if you are accompanying by your partner you also have to show them 7,100 Australian dollars plus if you also have had children so you, you have to show for each child 3,040 Australian dollars in your personal bank account so this is the amount friends simple process if if in simple words I would like to tell you you'll have to show that you have money for your living course for your um, uh, tuition fee plus uh, for uh, the amount for your travel to and from Australia. So simple as that. This is the amount that you need to show in your bank account. So you need to show this amount only for one year. So for one year, you need to show 20,290 Australian dollars plus this is the amount and the amount of your remaining tuition fee. For example, if your tuition fee is 20,000 Australian dollars, for example, per year, then you need to pay a deposit as well. If you have paid, for example, 5,000 Australian dollar deposit, and the remaining 15,000, you have to add into this amount, plus the traveling cost to and from Australia. So that's about 2,000 Australian dollars extra. So these are all the amounts. The second very, very important way that you can, uh, some of the students will be more happy now to listen to this because you can also show the funds of someone else for example for of your partner or parent so this is the uh, condition only your parents or your partner can sponsor you no one else so if you show a bank account of your parents so the minimum amount for uh, uh, for you they'll have to show is the annual income of their 12 months so they have to show that the annual income they have is about 60,000 Australian dollars so that is equivalent to almost 48,000 US dollars and if you are bringing your wife or husband with you as well as a partner then they need to show 70,000 Australian dollars you will need to make sure that you have certain health conditions that, that are required to apply for a student visa in Australia that's once again a type of funny thing but you need to arrange this so there are certain countries uh, for example in Pakistan and India there are set aside uh, physicians for your uh, health tests so you need to get an appointment to them you can find this information on the website of uh, your local Australian embassy in your country of origin so that's 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 ex that's very mandatory so that is mandatory before applying a visa so you need to get that report from doctor first further if we talk about friends uh, your rights uh, while staying in Australia well you can uh, extend your visa for up to five years in Australia while staying in Australia to complete your studies and afterwards you can also have the time to uh, search and do a job for almost two years. So this is excellent friends and uh, once you do that you can also apply for a PR in Australia so that is also an option for you as a student once you complete your studies in Australia. So you can you can work uh, part-time in Australia during your studies so these are almost 40 hours fortnight that you can work over there and you can work unlimited hours uh, during vacations. So your partner suppose if your family is with you your wife or your husband they can also work uh, if you are on an undergraduate course, they can also work fortnight, 40 hours. And uh, if you are on a postgraduate course, then your partner can work without any problem, without any limits. So they can work unlimited hours. So your children can also study in Australia for about three months. So this is mandatory. If they want to study more than that, you'll have to apply a student visa for them as well. So these were all conditions my friends uh, you need to meet all these requirements in order to apply a student visa of Australia so 
the documents I've told you, the requirements I've told you, now it's up to you how to apply for that. You can apply for admission online directly to any institution or there are some certain agents as well of these institutions. You can find the list of these certified agents on the website of these all institutions or the education providers. So there are almost 1100 institutions in Australia that offer international students the places to study over there and there are almost more than 22,000 courses for international students to choose from so this is a lot of range my friends and one more thing if you want to apply a student visa for studying an intensive english language course then the length of english language course must be 12 months or more you cannot apply a visa for that less than that so if you want to apply a visa for less than 12 months or intensive english language course then you must apply for a visitor visa for that so once you get the visa you'll get a three months of extra visa to apply for an extension of your next visa or to uh, 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 arrange uh, your your travel back to your uh, country of origin so friends this was the information i'm hopeful you have found it interesting and informative for you if you want to get more information hit that red subscribe button and i'll meet you when i upload a new video in future so friends thanks a lot please uh, do like the video friends you can also dislike if you want i won't mind do share it with your friends on your facebook or twitter timeline so that any other students who want free information they'll be able to benefit from this i'll meet you next time in the next video friends till then stay safe uh, god bless you bye bye